What's the crack lads and welcome back to the channel. So just another weekly video series that I do. We have a couple of them now, a couple of weekly series just to get a bit of consistency going and a lot of people ask me this every week. Anyway, mostly for newcomers lads. If you are a newcomer, check out my previous videos where I talk about informed players and what it means to have an informed player and what kind of boost it gives you in games statistics wise um, or attribute wise and stats for players. So we are going to very quickly check out this week's live update and I'm going to give you four or five recommended players that I would put into your squad if you have them or if you have the GP to go and buy them. So straight away we're just going to go to the live update rating and we're going to go to A. We'll just start with A lads, there is a couple of B players as well there. Messi is probably the pick of them. Uh, I would actually say Rudiger is probably the pick of them. Rudiger as an A level player lads is insane. He is going to have so many good stats if he's on a full form arrow. And with the A form and the unwavering form, you're going to have a player that's going to be up more often than not. A beast of a player, a destroyer from the center back. And in my opinion, a top five center back in the game, a standard player. Now, we're not talking about, you know, Nestor Maldini, um, but I do definitely think he's there. So my picks for it this week would be obviously Messi, any version of Messi that you have unwavering form you've got your a rating there as well and Messi is going to be obviously locked to a b with the legend card but any other version of the standard card of Messi is going to be on a harry kane is obviously in the player of the weeks this week as well so his form carries true to his standard card and he's not that expensive lads 450 000 isn't a lot muller i've seen a lot of people use muller for me personally he's not good enough um to get in the squad that i currently have but Anytime I come up against him, his positioning seems to be insane because I think when you're training him up, you're going to have offensive awareness awareness that's going to be at least 96. So that's going to be one of the highest uh, offensive awareness stats of any player in the game, uh, which is really, really good. Dybala, I wouldn't, you know, I just don't really use him that much. Uh, creative playmaker as an SS, inconsistent form, even on the A. But yeah, Rudiger, I think also uh, Coleman and Borella are fantastic players. We have Latauro Martinez. He's been on A or B form for the last couple of weeks. He's been really, really, really consistent this year. Koundé is also there as a centre-back. Pedri, I mean, I don't need to say much more about Pedri, lads. If you don't have him in your squad, just buy his standard player card. It, I mean, he's absolutely ridiculous. And we have a couple of... We've Hakimi, we've got Tushimene. There's a lot of good players on A form this week, lads, that you could build your squad around, right? So, for me, also, Grimaldo's a fantastic player. Christensen is a good centre-back. Musiala is a good player. And then on to the B form, right, which... I do recommend as well, um, but obviously try and get as many A's in your squad as possible. But on the B there, you could pair up Rudiger with Marquinhos or Alaba if you want. De Bruyne in midfield. You've got Donnarona, obviously my favorite goalkeeper in the game. You've got De Jong, you've got Rodri. You've got a lot of center backs. You've got a lot of wingers and center mids. And yeah, there's a nice spread there as well around of a couple of young players if you wanted to try out a couple of young players. Reese James is back in form as well. I'm going to be trying him out because he is a monster for me. Vritz is a fantastic player as well. Monain obviously is going to get that boost as well. So yeah, I mean, obviously, lads, you're going to want to fill your squad with as many A's and B's as possible. Like the grades I used to get in school. A's and B's. <laughs> no, I'm only cotton. But... You are going to want to have a, have a look at some of the squads. So, for example, here with me, you will see that from last week's squad, I had Kimmich in who was on a A, I think, or a B. And we had Neymar in as well who was on an A, right? So, we're going to have to swap them out. And obviously, we can get different players in if we want to. But I'm going to go for players that are going to be in really good form. And if I don't have a player that is in really good form, I can buy somebody. So, obviously, I have Pedri there as well. Matoma is going to be on A form. That is huge. We will get him in. We also have Kamavinga and Hakimi to come in as well. I've got a lot of good players there that are on A and B. Um, even if we get Hakimi in there, lads, for a right back, we can take out Asane, we can take out Paul, and we can take out Akuna Matala. There's a lot of players there that are going to be able to do it for you. So obviously we can get Neymar back in there as well um, as, you know, whoever we're going to get. Messi is there as his, as his traditional card, the epic big time. Ansu Fati, Donna can come back in if you want. I have Donna already there. The rest of my squad is looking fairly beastly, lads, I must say. It is looking fairly beastly with the A's and the B's. 
Um, I will also probably put in Camavinga, lads. I haven't really tried him out, but I think this week could be the week to put him in and see. So as you see there, lads, I'm just filling my squad with players that are going to be on tip-top form. And obviously this means that I'm going to be able to get as many players in form as possible. Um, Paddy V is going to come back in. And then we probably just need one more attacking player. Um, I might try Martins, you know, lads. He's on A form. We might try get Martins in there and then have a centre midfield partnership of Camavinga, Makalele, or else Vieira. And then Hakimi as a kind of a right midfielder, right back if we do have it. And obviously we can keep on the rest of the squad. So that is it for me, lads. Just a short and quick video. Um, Just make sure that you swap out those players and don't get caught um with players that are on you know c or d form especially when you've got really good alternatives here so yeah that is it for me lads let me know if it helps you out as a reminder and i'll talk to you in a bit they're the players i recommend we have pedri in we have um kamavinga in we have timber who's on a we've rudiger who's on a we've got kunde on the bench who's on a absolutely insane squad lads that we have built there with the A's this week, and Hakimi to come on off the bench, you've got Neymar to come on off the bench, obviously as a legend, Lautaro Martinez, and that is it from me lads, I will be back quite soon, good luck!